Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, here with the TF2, which is the Trial Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. And in this video, I'm going to be swapping out the Yoda 1 axles, which is the stock axles, for the Yoda 2 Ultimate Scale axles from RC4 Drive. Now, the reason why I'm doing so is that I've been having an issue with the front axle on the vehicle, mostly on the steering knuckles. And from what I understand and what I've been told and from what I read that this is a very common issue with RC4 drive and the type of metal or aluminum that I use for the housing uh, over time. I've had this truck for a little over about a year and a half now and they say over time that aluminum starts to get weak and the screws on the steering knuckles will actually start either uh, unthreading itself or just completely falling out. Now I've experienced that issue twice already. I lost two screws in the process. I tried thread locking, did not help. Uh, one screw just actually just spin around, round and round. So that means the threading in that knuckle is pretty much gone, I guess. So I decided to fix that issue by getting the ultimate or the Yoda 2 ultimate scale axles for the vehicle. Now, I don't know if this is going to fix the issue or not. I've seen some mixed reviews on this. Some people say that you're going to have the same issue as with you know, the Yoda 1 axles. Some people said that they hadn't had any issues with it so far. They've been running it, uh, been you know doing the normal crawling thing, and hadn't had any issues with it. So I'm going to give it a shot and see if this fixes it. If it does not, then that means I have to go to the next step and actually spend a little bit more money on getting some better axles. There are other companies that do make axles for the TF2, like Boone Racing, uh, Bauhaus RC, and some other companies as well. Uh, I'm not sure if SSD or Vanquish makes them. They probably do, but I just don't really know because those are two companies that I kind of tend to stay away because that's a little bit more money than what I have in my pocket. <laughs> But, yeah, so we're going to get these installed in the truck so I can get back out there on the trails and run the vehicle because I absolutely love this truck. It is super fun to drive, and I really want to get it back out there. Now, this is not my everyday rock crawler, right? So uh, I got my Axel SEX-10 too for my everyday rock crawling. This is my trail truck, and sometimes I do take it out in the course, but I don't do anything really hardcore with this truck because I just like how it how it looks and dries and everything. So, let me stop talking and let's get into starting to get everything off so we can put the new axles on and get this thing running. All right, my friends, so let's get into it. off the truck and I see an issue and I want to see if you guys can see that issue alright so close up Do you see an issue see something something Do you see it my screws three out of the four screws are completely stripped out and these are the stainless steel screws the T uh, team K and K actually and I think that stainless is really is it supposed to strip like that but I could be wrong you know but uh, if I have stripped out screws on this one am I going to have stripped out ones on the rear we shall see hopefully I got enough screws to uh, hardware back in. Only find out. <laughs> 
Well, my friends, finally finished up installing the Yoda 2 axles on the TF2. It took a little bit longer than what I originally expected. It took me a few hours to actually do this. Now, I was going to film the whole process of removing the stock ones, putting the new ones on, but I had to pause and I was like, you know, I really need to focus on this and making sure that I line up everything, all the parts are going where they're supposed to be and stuff like that. So yeah, and then I had issues with some stripped out screws on my stock axles, as you guys can see and seen before. So I had some issues with that and a couple other things, but I got it all squared off. So let's take a look at it. So here is the front, my friends. So that's the front axle. Some people tend to take the original uh, bar from the stock one and put it across the front just to kind of give it a little bit of protection on the diffs there, which I might possibly end up maybe doing that. I'm not exactly sure yet. But uh, yeah, so that's the front. And here is the rear. And they look pretty good, actually. I really do like it. So the, uh, the turning radius seems a lot better. And uh, I'm still have to go through and do some fine tuning, some adjustments on the uh, controller there, set my endpoints up, and all that good stuff uh, to you know make it run a little bit better and stuff like that. But I got it done. It took me a lot longer than I expected, like I said, but I got it done. And so now the truck will be ready for its next outing on the trails or on the course or whatever I decided to take it at. So. Uh, but it's been fun doing this and uh, putting it all together. Well, my friends, I hope that y'all liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs like button. And if you guys got any comments or uh, any uh, tips on these uh, on the trail finders or on the axles or what I should do, uh, definitely comment down below. I would love to get the feedback from you guys to see uh, what I might need to do this truck. Uh, any tips or advice, whatever you guys got to uh, offer, I would <laughs> very much appreciate it. All right, my friends, so thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys later.